All right, so I've got my two unit by one unit rectangle here, and I want to actually display the measurements of this rectangle. And when we display measurements, those are called dimensions. So we can add dimensions to our rectangle. We can do this by going up to the menu bar and clicking on the dimension menu and looking for linear dimension. As you can see, there's various different types of dimensions here. And linear is the kind we're going to be using for measuring a dimension that's along this straight edge. So I clicked on that. And what I need to do is just click on the two points I'm measuring between. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. and. If you notice, as I move my cursor close to the corner, it will almost be magnetized to that corner. And that's called a snap. It'll snap to that corner. That snap represents a significant point on our shapes. In this case, it is referring to an end point, which is perfect because if we didn't have that snap, we'd kind of be guessing as to where we'd have to put our dimension. We might get a dimension that's just slightly off. So we'll click here for our first point, And then I'm going to snap to the other end of the line for the second point. And again, I just did that by clicking each time. And you could see that a dimension now showed up saying it's 2.0000. .0000. It's very precise, and we're going to change that later. But my dimension still hasn't been placed. I have to actually position the dimension now. And it's a good practice to position your dimensions outside of the shape you're creating and out of the way. If we put our dimension here, it's really kind of in the way. and It's going to get really messy on our drawing. So let's put it out of the way where it's still easy to view, though and you position it just by clicking. Now let's do the same thing for the vertical dimension. And there you go. Now you have a dimensioned rectangle.